Hi, Lacey. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Lacey. Hi, Hillary. Hi, Annie. <laughs> okay, so I admit I'm a little bit nervous to do this on my main page. Um, <laughs> thanks. Hi, Jenny. I'm a little nervous to do this on my, my main uh, Facebook page, but I've had so many requests. Um, from people asking, hi Catherine, hi Sarah, hi Curly. Um, so I've had so many people asking for my smoky eye that I thought I just need to do it on my main page. And so I admit, thank you Curly, um, I am just a little bit, a, a little nervous just to do it in a, with basically, um, <laughs> who knows who's watching. So, um, I am going to be going to Hottie Seminar tonight, which is a black tie event, and so I'm going to do a pretty heavy smoky eye. So I thought this would actually be, hi Sarah, a great uh, time to do a really heavy smoky eye because a lot of times I don't do something quite so heavy. So I've done my foundation and uh, I've done my blush, I've filled in my brows. And now on my brows, I don't have microblading or anything done. So I prefer like on natural brows to have a more natural look. If you have fabulous brows, you have fabulous brows. But mine are just my natural brows. And so I prefer to have a little more natural look. Hey, Lita. Oh, my gosh. Um, wow. So hi, Misty. Um so anyway, all I, I use all Cenogens products. For those of that you don't know, that I am a Cenogens distributor. I've been a Cenogens distributor for three years, and uh, it's been one of the largest blessings in my life. So I have an amazing team of women who I feel support me, and hopefully I support them back. Um, hi, Stephanie. Okay, so I've done my foundation, my blush. I have... I had a little bit higher and I had a little bit of a um, shadow sense, which is what we call our shadow on my eyes from earlier today. And I just am going to leave it. Uh, I could have cleansed my face, but I'm short on time. And so <laughs> thanks, Lacey. Uh, so I am just going to apply over. So I put candlelight over, which is a shadow sense, which works like a great primer. So what I tell people is <laughs> that even just if you use our candlelight, it looks like you had a really good nap. Hi, <laughs> Stephanie. Um, it brightens your face, it brightens your eyes. Okay, so a couple things with um, when you're doing a little bit older eyes. So I'm not as young as I used to be, and so I use, hey, hey, Catherine, I use a little trick I learned from my mentor, Lita Green, and she is going to follow this line to the end of my brow, okay? And you have a triangle in your face. So if you line your brush up, you can see this, your brush to the corner of your eye to your brow, it should all match up, okay? Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna lift my eye and help me look a little more awake than I even uh, do from the candlelight. So when I do makeup, I'm not so worried about it being perfect in application. I care more about the final look versus what's happening when I'm putting it on. So I know in some demos, everything is like perfect. And I'm more like, look, if you're a mom, if you have five kids running around you, you can do this. You, if you have no kids, it doesn't matter. Anybody can apply our products because the way they blend out so nicely, application doesn't have to be perfect. It's just finishing up with the blending, okay? So because I'm going to do, so I want a pretty dramatic eye for tonight. So my dress is kind of a gray color, so I'm going to go with the grays. Now these are my own personal products, so I can take this and wipe it right on my eye. Now if this was a tester or something, I would always obviously have a tester stick, a new stick for every dip, that's my little slogan. Okay, you can use fingers. You definitely can use fingers. Now, I am just in the habit of using brushes just for makeup demos. So 
So it's more natural to me than using fingers. And then sometimes I'll clean up with fingers. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to swipe it right on my eye. All right. And you get to a point where you can, you, you can eye that line that I'm talking about. If at first you need you to use your brush as a guide, you can do that. Um, but you just get to the point where, where you can eye it. Now, one of the cool, one of the things about our products, all of our products are cream to powder. We don't have any powder except we have some very, very light finishing powders. So your products will actually work just a little bit better if you let them set. So this can kind of freak some people out because they're used to applying immediately. But our products need to bond with your skin. So whether it's lip sense, you're letting it sit, or it's your shadow. So do you see I have my line? And now I'm just going to pull gently from the outside with my brush, keeping my line. Okay. Now if I would have gone too soon, I would have blended out more than I want to blend. Do you see that? Now I have a almond shaped eye. And as my eye has gotten a little older, my, my, my lids are changing, okay? So I kind of create my crease right here with my color. And I don't particularly take my color above my crease. Now, that doesn't mean that if you do take your color above your crease, that's wrong. It's just on my eyes, that's where I feel that it looks the best to, to leave it. So this is, I believe this is granite. Um, my sticker's gone because I've had it for a while, three years. It'll last me like 25, literally. Um, so that is, that is granite. Now I could, if I wanted to, I could take a blender, which is candlelight or shimmer sandstone pearl or pink opal or let's see, what do I have? Lavender shimmer. So I could take any of those and I could see. So I'm gonna use my finger to clean up and then I'll come back and I'll talk about how we're gonna clean that up even more. Okay. Um, so that's where I've got that right there. So I'll just clean it up because we are on a makeup demo. We'll do this. Okay. So now because I want it heavy, um, now I actually feel like because our colors are so concentrated, I, you don't technically need to use five, right? So like in your little color palette, there usually comes with three colors. Um, I usually use one to two. Now here's another fun thing. So this Onyx, again, is three years old and I've taken the stopper up, so it's a little gooey, but I'm just going to take it, I'm gonna make a mark right there. So Stephanie asked, how long do I wait? Oh, I don't know. Just till it doesn't look quite so shiny, I guess. Now I don't particularly pay much attention to that. Um, I pay more attention to, oh, it's been about that long of time. So maybe two minutes, max. Any longer than two, it's going to have dried and bonded just a little bit too much, okay? All right, so now I'm going to take my dark brush so you technically have a light brush and a dark brush and that's all that I use now sometimes if I I do get a little crazier and I have other brushes but I don't want to be washing a whole bunch of brushes so, so I'm gonna bring it out now for me um, on me just with my eye shape changing I prefer a, a blended smoke, like a blended smoky. Even in my, with my eyeliner, I like it to be a little softer um, I, than like a really hard, a really hard eyeliner line um, just for my age. Now I can do a, oh, there, it's not blurry anymore. I, I can do a, a, you know, a more dramatic liner 
um, for something like this because this is going to be an evening and all out. Girls, come all done up, all out. Okay, so I basically have just taken it and blended it out. So when you put all the apply all the color like on the outside, that's the weight of the product. I call it the weight. So wherever you have the weight, you're gonna gently brush out and the weight is going to get less and less and less as you go towards the inside of your eye, which is going to put the emphasis on the outside. So when you look at my face, I do have Sassy Z on, but the emphasis should be on my eyes and I want it to be right here. So it's wherever you want it to be. Like if you want it to be more in the center, it can be, but wherever you want the emphasis is where you want the majority of the weight. Does that make sense? Okay. So now, I think, let's see, I'm going to take a little bit of lavender shimmer. Now, again, sometimes, I will say this a lot, I feel like less is more, okay? Um, you can keep adding, you can keep adding, and then sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish I would have stopped. So, just be aware that sometimes less is more. So this is going to be my blender, okay? And I'm sure you all have had those moments where you love what you've done and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, that was just not what I wanted. So I typically don't use more than three shadows because I feel like any more than that, it adds too much. So that's my blender, lavender shimmer. Just like that. Can you see that? Now, here's what I'm, the cool thing. So I'm going to take my candlelight. So this is I'm going to be how I clean up. I'm going to take here. Now this is going to do a couple things. Okay, I'm going to swipe it right here. I'm going to take my light brush. I'm just going to wipe it on a tissue just because I don't want that lavender shimmer to come off, but I'm not going to clean the brush. So... I'm going to go like this and clean up my line right here because I like that defined line. Now I'm going to take my candlelight and I'm going to come up under my brow to highlight my brow. I'm going to drag it in the center. To highlight my brows just a little bit more. Okay, and now I do want just a little bit more weight on my lash line. And these are lash extensions, which are fabulous. So I get my product, as you can see, I get it right up to my lash, my, my lash extensions. I don't worry about that. I'm going to take my Onyx. And I have this little tiny detail brush. Just like this. Okay, so I'm just going to take it like this, and now I'm just going to work it into my lash line. And the cool thing is, you can use this on your lashes if you don't have mascara. So I got a little bit of shadow sense on my extensions, so I'm actually just gonna put the onyx right on my lash extensions to kind of work that out. And I'm just gonna come in here. And if you can see, I'm just kind of working it in. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's a smudge die. Okay, I'm gonna to come to the other side. And again, I start with the weight in the corner and I work this way. It's always easier to add than it is to take off. 
but I don't worry about getting our products right next to my lashes. Now you can take your um, like angle brush or anything like that and you can put this underneath your eye as well. Me personally, I, I prefer just the top, but because I am going to something pretty fancy, so I'm going to take it And girls, for those of you that like a liner in your waterline, you can put it in your waterline as well. So this will dry to my lashes, just like if it was mascara. And I actually learned this. <laughs> Um, I was doing a, a demo one time on a lady and um, I didn't have any mascara testers. And so I was thinking, okay, so how can we emphasize her lashes without mascara? And uh, when you don't have what you need, you think outside the box to get to improvise. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my light brush. Hmm, maybe I want my dark brush. And I'm just going to blend out, make sure that that's nice and blended. And sometimes it's hard to see in the camp, in the, so I have a hair in my eye. There we go, got the hair. Just gonna make sure that's blended out. I'm done. So hope you guys like this. Hope you had fun. Um, good to see everybody. If you have any questions, you're welcome to comment and, and I will try to answer. So, and, um, getting ready to go off and decorate for Hottie Seminar. All right. Love you guys. Bye.